Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a comparison video between Hobby, which is a company based in Denmark, their twisters versus, I will not say the name right, but Sheepjis Whirls, which is a Dutch company. Okay, um, so first off, I want to kindly thank my friend Teresa from Canada who so kindly sent this to me as a surprise. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Teresa, and I appreciate your kindness. It's gorgeous, and I love it. Okay, so we'll go, uh, go ahead and we'll kind of just compare the two of them. Okay, like I said, the Twister is from a company called Hobie, which is based in Denmark. It's their brand. Now, the Shipjis, Shipjis, which I know I'm not saying right, um, can be found, it's its own brand. It can be found at multiple places on the internet, um, such as uh, Daramore's and uh, Warehouse and Love Crochet and Love Knitting, lots of places. If you just type it in, you, uh, that uh, Shipjis world, and it will pop up. Uh, a bunch of different stores but as for this one you can only find at um hobby now um i'm not affiliated with either one of these companies i bought this myself uh and teresa sent this to me as a gift um, i don't make money if you buy these so i'm not affiliated with them i'm just doing a comparison video um because i was asked to and i'm gonna go ahead and do it i thought that'd make a good video also so this is what they kind of look like these type of yarns make excellent, excellent shawls. You see the colors in them are gorgeous. Both of them. They have a, a, a chain, the, the color changing effect in them, no matter what color you get, is, is absolutely beautiful on both brands. So let's go ahead and compare the Twister versus the Whirl. Okay, the twister right off you can see is 50% cotton, 50 acrylic. The whirl is 60 cotton, 40 acrylic. So not a lot of difference there. As far as I feel, pretty close to being the same to me. So there ain't much difference in the fiber content. Okay, as far as the twister is... 250 grams the whirl is 225 grams both are a thousand meters which is they both have 1094 yards per cake so they have the same amount of yardage um this one the twister recommends a, a four millimeter crochet hook and the uh Whirl recommends the same, three and a half to four. Both are machine washable. Both need to be lay flat to dry. So pretty much not much of a difference there. Um, now, this Hobie is a fine yarn classified as a number two weight. This one is a fingering weight, which is a number one weight. So it is thinner, which makes it look, you can tell the difference. Even though it's the same amount of yardage, you can see that it's a smaller cake because it's thinner yarn. And we can compare the two. Hobie has a pool, so you can get your center just right. The whirl does not. And if we hold them together, we'll see if they are, yes, you can tell that the Hobie Twister is thicker than the Whirl. And I would say that is a nice size one and that is a correct size two. So as far as weight class goes, they're, they're correct in it. You can tell that the Whirl is a bit smaller in comparison to the Twister. So that's why the Twister appears to be you know, it's noticeably bigger. It's because it's a it's a, the next step thicker yarn. It's a two weight versus the one weight. But as far as feeling goes, they feel pretty close to the same. That's because the fiber content is pretty much the same. Not much difference. Um, so the twisters, they come, they're available. It looks to be 
in about 31 cakes that are multicolored like this. They have solids, but we won't talk about those. 31 um, cakes that are all, that are ombre out like this, different colors, all are very, very pretty. I have quite a few of these myself. The whirls have a lot more. They have a well over 50, probably more than that. I mean, if you look around, um, they have a lot, a lot of beautiful colors in the whirls. A lot. I was looking at them and I was just, just there's so many pretty colors. This one is gorgeous. I mean, it's pretty, it's beautiful. So as far as colors go, the whirl has a lot more to choose from than the twisters. But the twisters, they still have quite a few to choose from. Um, and let's talk about price. Now, these are not cheap yarns. So, what I'm about, the price I'm about to say is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, the twisters from Hobby, when they are not on sale, they run $29 a piece. Whoa! But, a good thing about these is you can almost always find them on sale like right now they're $16.40 I've seen them I think as low as $12 before I don't think I ever hardly see them at full price for $29 so that's a good thing the whirls they run different prices depending on what store you go to now, I'm talking about the regular whirls, not ones with wool in them or anything, just the regular whirls. They run anywhere from $23 to $29 a piece. So, let's just average, let's just say they run about $25. Um, you can get them on sale at places, but I don't think I've ever seen them as cheap as I've seen the Twisters. These are, this is a pretty expensive yarn. This is a very good brand of yarn. It's a very good brand. It's a very good yarn company. So is this one. They are both high quality yarns. They both make excellent shawls. In fact, I'm going to make my daughter a baby dress out of one of these that I have. Not this color. It's a pink and purple one. So, I mean, as long as you don't mind using the thinner weight yarns, you know, they make gorgeous pretty much everything. There's quite a bit of yardage. You're not going to get quite as far with this one as you will with this one because it's a one weight compared to the two, even though it has the same amount of yardage. But that's still enough to make a nice lacy shawl. So, <laughs> comparing the two, I like them both a lot. I They both have um good things about them um the color choices in this one are abundant compared to this one but this one still has quite a few this is a two weight which i would prefer over a one weight um this one i think is, you are more likely to get it a lot cheaper than you will this one um it's really hard to say because I do like them both a lot, but I have a lot more of these because I was able to get them a lot cheaper, like 12 to $15 compared to where I can't usually find these that cheap. You know, they average about $25. I know that you can get coupon codes and stuff for the stores that you buy them at, but I don't really ever see them too often on sale, especially not for as cheap as these go on sale for. So for price purposes, I would choose this one because they're all beautiful. And it, I would choose this one because it's a two weight. Um, if I didn't care about the money, um, I would, probably buy a lot of these because there's tons of beautiful colors in them and you can make gorgeous things with them I like them both and it's hard to choose but if I was going to choose had to choose one over the other I'm going to choose the hobby twister because of it being a thicker weight because of it being cheaper 
Um, you know, you can find it on sale a lot more than what you can this one. And it being a two weight, it, the 1,094 yards is going to make a little bit bigger of a garment than, than this one will because it's a thinner weight yarn. So even though I do like them both, and even though this is a very, very good brand of company, these whorls are very extremely popular. Popular. I'm going to choose the twister as far, that's going to be my choice. That's me. That's one the one I'm going to choose. And I'm basing that off of price. I'm basing it off of it being a thicker yarn. A little bit thicker. It's going to, your yardage is going to go a little bit farther with this one versus this one. But this one, you know, if you were just go, you didn't care about price and you're wanting to go for colors, you go for this one because it's got outstanding colors and it's got so many colors to choose from. But for me, I'm going to go for price and how much I can get out of my yardage. I'm going to go with the twister. That's my choice. But I absolutely think this is gorgeous. And even though it is expensive, if you want to make something super spec, both of them are actually pretty pricey, but this one is more, even though it's, you know, expensive, you want to make something super special for somebody, um, these are, you know, a beautiful shawl for somebody or even for yourself because remember, you're always worth it. Buy one of these. Make yourself something. You will not be disappointed in either one of them. So that is my review. But what I want to know is if you've tried either one of these or both, let me know which one you like best. If you haven't tried them, you know, you can look them up and check them out you know, look at their colors and everything. Tell me which one you'd like to try. Um, but for me, I'm going to go with a twister based on the, what I said. I do like the whorls a lot. And if money wasn't an option, I would probably get tons more of these because the colors are uh, to die for. They're beautiful. So that's my review. So remember, let me know if you tried both of these, which one you prefer. I'm interested. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a good night.